morning you guys welcome back to our channel it is bright and early this morning Cameron is actually in our bedroom right now getting dressed I got up super early this morning because I had some things to do today I am 24 weeks pregnant so we have my 24 week OB visit I don't think I'm getting an ultrasound today I think I'll be getting that at my 28 week appointment and I'll also be getting the like glucose screening at my 28 week appointment so one more month until that all happens but I'll give you guys a little bump update the baby's definitely poking out and what's crazy is is that this is the last appointment where we don't know the gender because by the next appointment we'll already have had our gender reveal which is going to coming later this month i'm super excited for it comment down below if you guys think it's going to be a boy or a girl i see a lot of boy comments i see a lot of girl comments i don't know i'm very split i'm like kind of leaning toward girl cam is 100 percent leaning toward boy <laughs> but we'll see the dogs are very up and active today's actually chloe's second birthday all right i'm pretty sure this is just going to be a standard appointment where they check my weight the baby's heart rate so we'll kind of update you guys but I can imagine it takes us longer to get to the office than this appointment is because that's how it was at my two appointments ago I think it was my 16 week appointment so like I said comment down below if you guys think it's gonna be a baby boy or a baby girl we're super excited to find out I feel like you guys couldn't really see before but like I have this little hoodie on which before pregnancy would actually cover my whole stomach for the most part but now it's more of like a cropped look <laughs> so I have my maternity leggings on the belly is definitely bumping I love my bump so much like I loved having my baby just all out and about and last night the baby was kicking so much Cameron will tell you about it later once he like wakes up a little bit more the baby was kicking so much last night he felt like some crazy movements it was insane but yeah so a better look of the bump let me know if that helps change your decision or make your decision if it's a boy or girl based on old wives tales but we're gonna head out okay so we are out of my appointment everything went absolutely perfect Cameron is still waking up over here. <laughs> Moral of the story is my appointment went really, really well. Blood pressure is perfect. So I asked actually how much I've gained since pre-pregnancy. And she said I've gained 13 pounds, which is perfect for the amount of weeks I am, which is 24 weeks as of today. And I'm on track to gain between 25 and 30 pounds, she said, which is like perfectly ideal for pregnancy. This was the first appointment where they measured my belly. So like they measured from the top of my belly to like the bottom. And she said based off the centimeters should match up with the weeks you are and i measure 24 centimeters so that matches with 24 weeks and guys the answer to if i have the green light to finally show trisha some love in some other ways yeah we shut down. <laughs> we didn't tell you guys about this, but I spoke to the ultrasound doctor a couple weeks ago and I was like, listen, like my OB said that absolutely no activity, which is what, like when I told Cameron that he was like, no, like that's not true. That's like old school way of thinking. You can like totally do whatever you want to do. But if you experience bleeding. some bleeding, like leakage down there, then that's when you need to stop. But I'm sitting there thinking in my head, I'm like, realistically, do we want to have fun, obviously, but like, do we want to have fun? <laughs> and then like, if I end up bleeding, then we stop because it's bad. Like, you know what I mean? Like, shouldn't we just avoid that altogether? So I was talking to the doctor about that today. And she's like, listen, we have debates with that doctor all the time about this. Like, we recommend you do not do anything because you want to avoid any bleeding in pregnancy. So it's like, yeah, Yeah, but the reason, could, the but... reason why he said that we can is because of oh, new data new data yeah but i don't, I don't know, know right? all right so at 28 weeks so four weeks from today i'll have a ultrasound appointment and at that appointment we'll see if my placenta mm. has moved at all crazy thing is that trisha actually she's been having it and we were doing it but before like, my 20 week before appointment. she even found out that she had the placenta previous thing mm -hmm. So it was like, you know, like, all right, babe. It's only another four weeks, then we'll see if it has moved at all. If it's moved, then you got the green light before Valentine's Day. Shit. All right. If I'm you pissed. don't, what? I totally forgot Valentine's Day was coming. Babe, you know that the baby, we're not going to be able to do anything like on our anniversary. All right. <laughs> Come on, I gotta go eat something because now I'm just getting thrown off. Like. We're gonna go head to this bagel spot and get some bagels and then I'm sure Cameron and I are gonna have a little conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, so we just got back in the car. I actually got two bagels today because I couldn't decide if I wanted a bagel with cream cheese or like a breakfast sandwich. I got the normal. Yeah, Cam usually gets an egg bagel toasted with ketchup, pepper, honey turkey, egg, and white American cheese. For my cinnamon raisin bagel, I got a mini bagel so that this way it's not like too, too much. And then I got a sandwich, which is a toasted onion bagel, honey turkey on the grill, Swiss, bacon, and pepper. And then I also got two drinks. I got cranberry juice and I got orange 
orange juice because orange juice has been one of my cravings the past couple weeks. So look how good that looks. All right, you guys. So we are home now and actually something happened in the doctor's office that I wasn't able to share with you guys because Cameron was with me. I did get a notification that something was delivered. I literally checked my phone right away, made sure that it was what I think it was. And it was something that actually came super early. It literally wasn't supposed to be here until next week. So what I did was I texted my dad. I had him come over to our apartment and actually bring the packages up the stairs for me and put them in the nursery. Cameron's actually in the bathroom right now. And I took the things out of the nursery and brought them into the living room so that this way I can surprise Cameron. And if you guys didn't see during Vlogmas, he actually surprised me with the baby's crib. Now that we're entering our like parenting era, the surprises have been less for like each other and more like surprising each other stuff for the baby. So he surprised me with the crib, which I absolutely loved. And it was so heartfelt. I loved it so much. So I'm like, how can I repay the favor of like surprising him with something for the baby, but something that like is a little bit different and that he helped me pick out because we kind of picked out the crib like together, but like I kind of had the final say in the crib and then he like placed the order for it. This item, when we first found out I was pregnant, we were both doing a ton of research on it together because this is something we'll be using every day, which obviously we'd use pretty much everything for the baby every day. But besides the fact of that, this is something Cameron has been so freaking excited to get. And I've been kind of telling him, babe, wait a little bit, like it's too early. And although some people might say it's a little too early to have it, I feel like as a mom, I'd rather do the things, nest, organize, order the things, put the things together while I have the energy. So I'm 24 weeks. I don't think it's too soon for this stuff, but either way, it's here. It's in our living room right now. And Cameron's gonna be super excited when he sees it. But I'm so excited to surprise Cameron once he comes out of the bathroom. So once he comes out, I know I'm gonna have a little explaining to do once he sees the surprise, because he's probably gonna be like, babe, I don't want you carrying stuff. My dad brought it up the stairs. I did not carry anything. So thank you so much, dad. <laughs> but yeah, once he comes out of the bathroom, I'll be able to surprise him and I'll show you guys what I got him and the baby. I swear, you take the longest time in the bathroom ever. I've been standing here for like five minutes. Because I gotta take a shit. <laughs> <laughs> the big one. Oh! <laughs> this is the Nuna Shores? Yeah. Yo! <laughs> Wait, what the? What? Babe? What? I'm telling you right now. If you carry these up the steps. I babe, didn't. <laughs> My dad brought them up. My dad brought them up. Your dad brought them up? Yeah, they got delivered when we were right, at I'm the doctor's. You I'm can. He was literally just Babe, here. Babe, I'm telling you right now. I swear. If I find out that you carry these up the steps. I swear I I'm didn't. I'm telling you right now. I didn't. Ah! <laughs> they were supposed to be what delivered next fuck? week. And uh, they were delivered when we were at the doctor's office. So I had my dad come here and bring them up. Wait, what is this? What is so this? that one's a car seat. And that's the travel stroller. And then that's the like, regular everyday stroller. Wait, wait which, one, which one is the travel? The one in the middle. Yo, this is... All right, so this is like really like... I'm really starting to feel like just the... First it was a crib. It was like, wow. You know what I'm saying? Like the crib mm -hmm. came in. It's like you get that feeling like, all right, it's getting real now. Mm -hmm. It's getting more real. And then, you know, we get like little things from like, you know, just the stores of us shopping for the baby and everything. Which we barely and, have done so far. Yeah, we barely, we got some stuff, but we barely did anything. And then we have some people's gifts coming in. Mm -hmm. So it's like, that's like a little like shock. Actually, real, everything is coming. And then, boom, now you hit <laughs> me with this and it's like, yo, this is crazy. <laughs> like an actual stroller, like for yeah. our child. I really want to set this up and see it. You want to set everything up? Yeah. Let's just build one. Okay, so what one? Um, <laughs> let's do the travel one since they can break down, right? Well, that one can too. Yeah, but that might be more difficult. Like, that might be... Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm looking at the box size right now. This one looks like the more we could just put together, put it down. Actually, no, we can open up whenever we want to open them up, actually. Yeah. I don't know. Let's do the first one. This All right, let's, let's do the small one first, and then we'll see how excited we get and maybe do more. All right. <laughs> I don't even know... Probably don't have to. <laughs> you probably just take it out of the box. You probably take it out of the box. I'm not gonna lie. All right, discover the world in stock. Ah, oh, no, you gotta send it. Baby Williams. Yo, what the heck? Woo! Whoa! Yo, this is this a collapsible one? Yeah. Oh my goodness. That's that. <laughs> okay, it's done. Probably read the manual. Right? Oh my gosh, our baby's gonna be in that. I know, our baby's. Cameron, our baby's gotta be in that. It's crazy. Why does this look like it's for a toddler though? Remember what the girl said? Okay, so 
Let me explain something. This one holds up to five years old. This would be our travel stroller, like if we go places, whatever. But you can put the um, car the car seat on top of it. So like if we do travel when the baby's an infant and it can't sit in a seat like that, we have that. Or we have this one. This one will be like our everyday one because it has like the bigger base, bigger wheels. And that one you can interlock this into there. But it also has a toddler seat. So that's this one will mainly be used when we go places. Listen, baby, you know all about the baby stroller. It's a he just liked me. the way it looked. That's why. Well confusing for me. I'm just here for like the cushion and like the finish. <laughs> you know yeah. Okay. You know me, guys. I don't read. But you don't play with this. This is our baby safety. I'm not having a wheel fall off because you're not reading. I don't ever read instructions. You guys seen some recent videos? Me um, building stuff. I don't ever look at instructions. That's why your desk is caving in in the middle. Yep. Alright. <laughs> See. I don't look at I don't look at instructions. You you see what I'm saying? Now you guys see what I'm saying? I don't look at instructions and I'm nice with it. Like I didn't even have to look at that. I just don't know why this is not coming down. Yeah, see, that's probably. There's a little bar. <gasps> look at this. Yeah, see I do not read instruct I don't need instructions. I can literally yeah. build a house without any Build a house, he says. That you way. think that looks right? The girl who's reading instructions doesn't know if it looks <laughs> right. I guess. We have a couple months to sit here and like make sure everything is like absolutely Okay, so the right. big wheels is obviously in the back. Yeah, the bigger wheels are in the back. Oh, oh snap. Babe. Okay. I ain't gonna lie to you guys. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like, no instructions for me and like, I'm chill. Like, this feels mad, nice, mad, smooth. I'm obsessed with this right now. I'm not yeah, gonna lie to you. Okay. I want, thank you so okay. much for like, this was like, this just honestly made my day, babe. This whole entire like building the strollers and stuff like makes my day. Anything that revolves with the baby makes my day. Good, baby. I'm happy. And I can't wait until we build a nursery and everything. Oh. Like, ah, bro. This is crazy, though. This is like massive. Wait, I'm shook. Chilling. All right, babe. I'm gonna go take the baby on a walk. <laughs> wait, wait, the baby's kicking right now. Just built your stroller. One of your strollers. You have a couple more. Yeah, baby. You can't see it right now, obviously, but daddy, mommy just built your stroller. And we can't wait to have him in the stroller, chilling, uh -huh. just cruising with mommy and daddy. Ain't gonna lie, an expensive stroller over here. <laughs> All right, you ain't need to chill. With the, are you doing any puking, throwing up in any? You need to chill. Wait, all this, it's actually really nice because all this you can take off and just throw in the wash. Okay. Mommy oh, said you can throw up then. You can throw up. <laughs> mommy said you can throw up. <laughs> but if mommy said you can throw up, you throw up. Mommy's cleaning now. <laughs> all right. I feel like some people might sit there and say that like we're dragging it by having two strollers. But honestly, it just works for our lifestyle, honestly, because who's trying to carry a big bulky stroller? I mean, we would if we had to, but. Look at this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wow. All right, let's go, baby. Yeah, and then look, that fits in the overhead. Oh, and then look, you can even put it in here. Come on, baby, crap. That's fire, dude. I definitely think that this is something that we're definitely going to need. Especially like you said, for our lifestyle, this is something that's definitely gonna be very beneficial for us too, since like the traveling and stuff like that. And in the long run too, because it's good for up to five years old. We'll have this for a long time, you know? All right, the baby's in there, baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the baby's not in there, baby. Like, the baby. I would not be setting it's up like the stroller flying backwards. with the baby inside. <laughs> All right, guys, so this is the other stroller. This is the bigger one. First one was fire. I can definitely tell that this one is about to be fire as well. This one looks like it's super compacted. Like, it looks like it's like a big one. This is the one that we tried out when we went to that store. You get one for twins? <laughs> Let me find out. All right. All right. Whoa, the wheels are huge. All right. <laughs> oh, you can tell this one is definitely more of like an everyday. Oh, no, look at the wheel. I know. I thought you were talking about that wheel. This wheel is huge. I know. Now, Trisha definitely got like the baby, like all motorized <laughs> stroller. <laughs> we also have one that was on our registry that it's called the Duna, but that one's only good for the first year of life. So it's like, yeah, it kind of seems extra that we're going to have three strollers, but once again, like, just what we want. <laughs> Yo, did I just break it? What? You broke it? Side chat! Babe! <laughs> Come on, look at that. Whoa. See? I don't need instructions. I really I, don't. Here's the instructions. Compacting. Put the wheels on so we have like a surface. And the reason why I don't look at instructions, guys, is because it, it takes super long. Yeah, but one thing we're gonna look at is the safety instructions to make sure that everything is safe. Now we're gonna be putting on the big wheels, gigantic wheels, these life, car life-size wheels. See? 
Saying baby, Eddie's just nice like that. Nah, this is insane. This jewelry is insanely just like so like compacted. Like this is insane. This is so nice. I can't believe like we actually have this. I know. What this piece is is the adapter which you put on to here, and then you can actually put on the car seat. Turn that out the store. If I remember correctly, this just comes right off, and then, and then that goes on, and the baby can face us. And the baby can face us. <laughs> <laughs> with the car seat that's over there. We yeah. can just put the car seat, grab it, put it right on. Even if me and Trisha are out going to a grocery store, what we'll do is we'll take the, have this in the trunk, we'll take the car seat out, put it right on here. Yeah. Trisha can push the baby and I'll push the grocery cart. Yeah, so. and then this, I'm pretty sure, yeah, you can have this higher if you want, or you can have it lower. Higher. It's like so smooth. I it's know. insanely Look how smooth. how big the tires are. You can literally knock someone like out the way. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like we're in the grocery store, you know what I'm saying? Like battle the babies. You can be like, yeah, they're like, boom, boom. No, boom. <laughs> no. Yeah. So this one, what's cool is you can have it facing this way, like away from you, or you can face the baby toward you. Also guys, this is not the car seat by the way. No, this is not the car seat. This one, you can make a bassinet out of this. I'm pretty sure this is the bassinet mode. I'll have to look at it. But like you can make a bassinet out of this so you can put a newborn in here to like chill out in, but not, I don't know, I have to look into it. Pretty sure you're gonna want it the other way. Cause then as you're grocery shopping, you just wanna look down and see the baby's face, make sure the baby's okay, yeah. and go about your day. Maybe this is the only time I read instructions. Where are these going into? See, no instructions. How do, we, how do we pull this up higher? What? So that the baby can sit. I knew it was that. No, just stop! No, I knew it was that. You know why? Because as soon as I saw you press that, I was like, oh yeah, I forgot. I pulled that so I could, uh, so it can fold out. Alright, that's literally like folding yeah, it in sure. half. <laughs> We're actually gonna break the news to you guys. We're actually having twins. No, we're not. I'm joking. We're literally not. <gasps> She's a cool mom and a cool dad. Oh. Miss, can you move away? <laughs> okay, you just crashed into my baby. You do it again? <laughs> Sucks for you because I'm about to call my wife, actually. Yeah, there's a girl over here. I need, you to come. <laughs> I need you to come get her. That was super smooth. Super, super smooth. And you know what? Even though I was like telling you that it's too soon to get this stuff, it was kind of just a cover because I wanted to surprise you with this. I think it's so cool how like we have this stuff now so we can play around with it and kind of like get used to it before the baby's here. Yeah, true. We can learn all like the buttons exactly. and mechanics. I'm nice and quick with it. Like if we're on the go and we have a plane to catch, I'm like, oh, we get the baby out, right? Boom, 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 boom. You know what I'm saying? Like quick with it. Quick with it, that's what I'm talking about. How does this one break down? <laughs> There's no way they expect moms to hang over the thing like that. There has to be an easier way. But then me and Trisha at the airport, let's just say, we brought this, let's just say. Mm -hmm. Like, oh my god, oh no, we need to break it down, okay. The plane's leaving. Hurry, hurry, Kim. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Oh crap, I'm coming. I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs> we're already on the plane. We, we're, we're in Florida, why not? The plane's leaving. There you go. Run, run with it. Run, run, run. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> you were really. <laughs> so now we do have car seat right here, the big car seat. Mm -hmm. So as you guys see, I'm actually holding the car seat right here. This big plastic piece at the bottom is the base. All right guys, don't think I'm crazy. Don't you go to a firehouse and they install it in your car for you? Isn't that what you do? I don't know about that. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. I feel like that's what people do. You know what these are, yeah. The newborn inserts. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna read everything. This low birth weight pillow is used in the body support from birth to 11 pounds. So we have to put this in there. Her baby comes out 11 pounds, 12 pounds. I don't think I would be walking out of the hospital. I feel like I'd have to get wheeled out. Right, I'll let Mr. No Instructions figure out how to pull that up. <gasps> There's gonna be a baby in there. So like I was saying before, this is the base right here. So as you guys see, it's detached. All you gotta do is press a button in the back and it'll detach the base from the car seat itself. So even if me and Trisha were going into a doctor's appointment 
and we're like, mm, let's not do the shoulder, like, because we gotta go up the steps and everything. You could just take the car seat, leave the shoulder in the back of the trunk, you know what I'm saying? Detach the car seat from the base, and then just take the baby up the steps like this. We oh, definitely. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> I promise you, all like the hitting, crashing into things, all of that is not gonna be yeah, happening. It's right? not gonna be happening, and not only that, it's just jokes right now. We like, are going to 100% make sure we're both taking. Being just super, yeah, like, careful and cautious. cautious. Yeah, because baby safety is like the one thing you do not want to play around or like slack on. So we're going to 100% make sure that we're going to be looking at the safety instructions for everything, making sure that when we do oh, assemble 100%. that in the I car, mean, this is our baby's yeah. lives. You know what yeah, I'm saying? yeah. As you guys see, like, yeah, we're laughing, joking, hee hee, ha ha, here and there. Yeah. But that's all just because like, it's just like... It's, it's exciting. It's, it's exciting. exciting. Yeah. We're joking around like right now, but mm -hmm. obviously when the baby's coming, like the baby's super fragile. So mm -hmm. we know... We gotta really just be like right on with it. Yeah. Take everything slow. The baby will definitely be sick. Okay, so all in all, how do you feel Ooh, about your surprise? I'm super blessed and happy with everything that you surprised me with because again, this is just something, another thing that has to do with our baby. The journey, and I'm so excited. I love how the feeling I get when things like this is present. So thank you. Mm -hmm. I mean, honestly, guys, it's just like I say that like, we're honestly growing. This is just another part of being new grown. Like, yeah. We're here. Like a couple months, baby will be here. In just a couple months, our baby's gonna be here. Our life has already changed forever, but like January, February, March, April, May, April. But it's April or May, yeah, because I'm due May second. All right, guys. So that is gonna be the end of today's video. We were just planning on vlogging today, and I'm really happy that I got the text message that this was delivered. My dad was able to carry it up the stairs for me because otherwise, probably would have had to tell Cam that it was here. And you would have had to carry it up. <laughs> that being said, I'm gonna close out this video right here. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. And if you guys have any of these strollers or car seats or whatever, and you know some like really good like safety features or like really cool features that we haven't like experienced yet, I'm gonna be like all up in those manuals and on TikTok later looking at. Like cool different things if you guys have any personal experience with any nuna products let me know like i said thank you so much for watching today's video if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to our channel we'll see you guys in the next lit video stay lit peace